Hi everyone, today we're going to transform the Galaxy Wise home screen into an S4 lookalike. We're gonna install the S4 launcher modified by the Rocket 18, which I believe is based off Samron's S4 launcher. We're gonna install the S4 fonts, we're gonna install a modified Google search widget, and we're also gonna install the S4 widget uh, weather widget. So to begin, you need to download all of the files from the link in the video description into your SD card. All, all of the files are optional except for the S4 launcher. This video is specially made for the S4 launcher. All of the other things are optional, but I'm just gonna install all of them just to show you what it would look like. Okay, so once you download the files to your phone, the next step is to power it off. And you are then going to boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. Once you're in recovery mode, boot into Quokka Mode Recovery, so go to apply update from SD card and choose the CWM zip file which we have. Now once you are here, first of all just head into mounts and storage and mount system if it is not mounted as well as data and everything else, just to be on the safe side. Once you've done all of these things, head back into the main menu and now select install zip from SD card then choose it from SD card. Now locate the folder in which you have downloaded all of the needed files. Mine are on a folder called S4 files. Here they are. And now I'm going to flash the Galaxy S4 launcher first. Choose yes. When it says complete, you may head back and install the S4 fonts or you can just reboot and skip the file. But like I said, I'm just gonna show everything so I'm gonna flash the fonts as well. Once again, I'm going to choose yes. And we are done. Now you have two more files left if you're planning on installing them. One is the Google search widget and the other is the weather widget. But now first, let us reboot the phone. So I'm going to skip the rebooting and I'll be back once I'm on the home screen. And we are back. As you can see, it says S4 launcher. So let's choose that. So this is the default wallpaper which you should get. As you can see, the dock icons have labels on them. Not that really good visible from my camera, I hope you can see them. So yeah, you are given one plain page, not more than one page, as you can see you cannot scroll. And let's take a look at the drawer real quick. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna install the S4 weather and the Google search widget. So let's head into the Math House app. Let's head into the S4. First, we're gonna install the S4 weather. This one is based off your weather, for those of you who are wondering. So you might have already seen this widget on my previous videos, but this one actually has a transparent background. Okay, so once installed, choose done. And after the custom ice cream sandwich search, once this is installed, once again press done. Let's head back into the home screen. And now let us place the weather widget and the uh, Google search widget. So let's start off first by putting on the weather widget. Here it is, as you can see it is transparent. Now let us add the custom ice cream sandwich widget. As you can see you are also given a few options here to customize it before you add it. So just choose OK. And as you can see we have the custom Google search widget. And the last part here is for your shortcuts to your apps. And OK so I'm all set to go. Unfortunately I couldn't add a city to the Yaweather widget because it says fail to add city. Now I'm aware of this error. I have experienced it before and I have showed you a way to fix this error on the uh, on the special video in which I review the Yao Weather widget, so yeah, you can check out the video if you're having such problem. I honestly forgot how to fix it at the moment. Anyways, so now this is the look, as you can see, but it honestly looks a, a bit of booty. The quality is not that good on the icons and the labels. It doesn't really look that good. So yeah, okay, let's take a look at the wallpapers. This is the first thing which we're gonna check. So let's head into wallpapers. As you can see, this is the wallpapers which you get. quite a lot of wallpapers so there's really not much to show here if you have seen my previous S4 launcher videos especially the one by Samron you should be familiar with what this contains 
So if we head into the options here that you can see we have a wallpapers which we just reviewed. We then have applications which takes you to the installed applications place as you can see. Next we have got the screen editor in which you can add more pages if you like. You can swipe, change their positions and so on. Next we've got the desktop setting which is for the launcher setting. And as you can see we don't really have much settings here other than just uh, an option to set on and off the vibration when you won't click. Then you've got shake wallpapers feature which you have may which you may have seen before. So I'm just gonna enable this to show you. And then we've got some effect settings. Basically when you scroll, for example now I can change this to wave and on the drawer I can change it to flip. And lastly you've got backup desktop and you can then restore this just backs up your settings and everything else, how things are pasted on the home screen and so on. So okay, I have just changed the transitions, let's take a look if they work. As you can see we are getting some effect. There we go, I've set the flip for the app drawer and as you can see it is working. Now since we're on the app drawer, let's take a look at what we have here. If you head into widgets, these are your widgets here as you can see. Now let me just try to add one, for example the aqua weather. I'm gonna one press on this and I'm gonna paste it over this page here. And okay it is working fine. So yeah pasting widgets is working as you can see. And then we've got, when you head back to the apps, you see this little icon here on the right side. When you tap on it, it will only display your downloaded apps, so it will exclude your system apps, it will only display apps which have been installed manually or from the Google Play Store. You also get some exclusive options only available in the app drawer and not on the home screen. So if you tap on the options, options button here, as you can see, you have an option here to set how the icons are being sorted. You can sort them by install time, app name or sort by frequency of use. Then you've also got a hide icon which is a really handy feature. You can set which icons you don't want to appear. For example, the phone and the contacts are useless to be on your app drawer since you have them on your uh, desktop. So you can just hide these. So once you hide them you just need to tap on the hide icon again, go back and they will be gone. As you can see now there is no dialer app, there is no contacts app on your app drawer. And finally we've got a simple option here to uninstall. Basically while you're here you can now for example select an app which you want to install. For example now I can choose um, the Yaweather. As you can see it directly takes you to the uninstall interface in which you just need to tap OK and you un uninstall the app. And before we end this video I forgot to show you the shake wallpaper feature. As you can see a simple shake changes the wallpaper works just fine and that is our own if you like this launcher you can pick it up from the link in the video description and you can follow the instructions here to install this launcher once again thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye